Good morning. It's Saturday, and I cannot believe that I'm almost late. Uh, I had a fantastic talk with my um, granddaughters this morning. Actually, we were on there for quite a while, and we're um, we're organizing our own Facebook Live that we're going to be doing for everybody on my group. But, anyways, um, it's our card sketch challenge, and we are on number twenty three. So I'm just waiting for people to get on here. Um, I don't know. I I'm busy. I have so many different cards I have to design, and I'm really happy with one I just finished doing, and I'm 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 excited to see how that's going to go. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So, um, like I say, it's card sketch. I just want to wait to make sure that we have a few people on here. I see I do have some. Just make sure that you do say hi, and um, then I know that you're here. Sandra, you didn't go camping. I'm shocked. Um, it is a beautiful fall day, though. Just a beautiful fall day. So, yes, it's... Uh, this one is... Eh, it's, it's, it's an okay sketch. Good morning, Rose. I am in Maryland. Good morning. Um, I'm... Hello, Krista. I am... Um, this one's... To me, oh, hello, Janet. Actually, I was, thank you for um, setting up that album for me um, for the Mystery Challenge. I really appreciate that. I just, once I got doing that, I completely forgot about what I had to do. So, but uh, yeah, good morning, Marjorie. Yes, I'm very excited about a card I just did. I don't know where it's going to end up going. Ah, too busy. <laughs> I, I feel like I need somebody to come here and inspire me to get organized because I just, this room is, like, I almost need, because I had everybody come into my studio, it, it was relatively clean all the time, but now it's like, um, I'm just all over the place. But I have to say, I creative clutter is good for me because I can leave, it's funny because I had done a card um, that I was doing for one of my classes coming up and it it just wasn't doing anything for me and I always say sleep on it and so by sleeping on it I was really I'm happy with this card I'm really really happy with this card so um, I that sometimes happens right so but anyways I was I'm happy with it and by that way at least I know something's happening today the mojo is going anyways so we're gonna get going on the sketch good morning Cheryl so we're gonna get going on this sketch um, first of all I I have to draw um, it's for the other pack of you know what I'll just switch the camera up and then we'll go from there um, can't wait to get my many 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 cams set up so that I don't have to do this part here so in any event. Okay, so um, we are drawing for the other half of this. So there'll be 10 cards and 10 envelopes. These are amazing things. They have new ones in the new catalog. And they're nice. These ones are nice too. I really, I, I like these. Um, it makes your card giving very, very easy. So, but anyways, I'm going to do a draw for the other half of this. And we'll see who the winner is. Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Sandra. Okay, so um, the winner of the half a pack of this is Sandra. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away for next week, but it'll probably be something from that envelope drawer um, because there's so many things that I can't use from that envelope drawer anymore because it's retired. But I know that you guys can make really, really good use out of it. So that's the winner. And then this is, hello, Marilyn, from the lake. <laughs> Here's the card sketch. I know it doesn't look like much, but once you start seeing it all come together, I think you'll be quite, um, I think you'll like it. Um, I know it, um, I went, oh, this is a drab one. But I think, like I say, this is going to show off some designer series paper. Or you could even, I'm going to give you another hint what you could do. Um, this I'm going to show you, first of all, what I'm going to be using. I have 
so many autumn cards that I have to make or fall cards. So I'm using this sweet and um, this is um, the gilded autumn specialty paper. Now to see this paper up close is amazing. It has such beautiful gold and copper colors in here. Um, it really is truly gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm going to use some of this, these punches. So I'm going to bring those punches in as well. And we'll use those with this. And then I'm also going to be using some of this ribbon. This copper ribbon here is gorgeous, but I need that for another project that I'm doing. And I think um, for one that I have to do on the blog um, post that I'm doing, I'll probably actually incorporate this in there as well. So the stamp set is I'm using is this one the beautiful autumn so here are the measurements so your card piece your card base is four and a quarter by fives so really that's measured at five and a half by eight and a half and these measurements are all on the card sketch which will be posted um, later on this page and I'll also post it on my group hello Marge how are you okay so we've got that I have a piece of very vanilla and it's the first layer and it's four by five and a quarter. So let's go ahead and put that on there. You know what? I'm not going to put that on there because there's something I have to do. And this piece of early espresso is three and three quarters by five, but I can go ahead and put that onto there. Remember with this snail is to run it and roll it and you won't have issues of having to restart it every time. And then on here, I also state um, you're going to have four, a rectangle, four of one and three quarters by two and three eighths. And this paper, like I say, it's, it's so pretty either either side. So I decided what I was going to do was I'll just, I'll layer it on like this. Because say you get to use an awful lot of, um, get to use up some of your designer series paper this way. And I probably shouldn't have put that on there that no, I'm not going to press it down. I'm going to just see. You know what? I think I'm going to use. No, I'm going to. Maybe I can use snail, the old, old snail. And by doing that, I know I can move it a little bit. It's easier than the stamp and seal. Just going to put that there. Oh, no. But this paper. I just can't seem to, you know, I'm not an autumn card person. Um, and I'm not sure why I don't like, I, I, I think it's the orange that I don't like. I don't mind Cajun Craze, which is this color here. But yeah, autumn is not my favorite time of year. It's my favorite time of year as far as nature colors go. But as far as colors, no, I'm a spring, summer type gal, so... Let's just put this here. But this paper pack is to die for. Okay, so that's the first part of our sketch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this basket weave ribbon. And it's half inch ribbon and it really is pretty ribbon. So I'm going to put that across there. So I'm going to come in with my tear and tape. Your sketches and the mystery challenges that you guys did this last week were amazing. I always say when I see some of yours and what you're using and everything, oh gee, I wish I had done that myself. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we're just going to wrap that around. Let's see, there is a right and a wrong side to this, so. I think this is the right side here. And you know, it's funny. Um, there's the copper paper that also goes along with, or the copper ribbon that also goes along with this, which is so pretty. Okay. So let's see if we've got that like that. So let's go ahead and let's put this onto the front of the cardstock. Now, I think I'm going to go in with, no, I'll use my stamp and seal. 
Oh, and something I usually always do that I haven't done on this one, I see, is I'm going to go back in with that tear and tape and make sure that it sticks on there. Don't want that ribbon coming off. And because I want it to stick, I'm going to actually lift that part off as well. And then we're just going to stick this on here. Now, it used copper, and I cannot believe, am I going to lose that? No, we're good. Okay, so I do have a piece of copper, and I've cut it out with the stitched. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to stamp on here. On here. And I'm just going to use um, a thank you. This is such a pretty thank you. Um, to put on there. So I'll just stamp this. And I had actually used, it was early espresso that I used on there. Yeah, Janet, this paper is so pretty. Like, oh my goodness, it's, it's one of those papers that, yeah. Well, it's like that Parisian paper was awfully nice too. Now, part of the designer series paper that you have in here is, is this strip that's on the back of here. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut out some or punched out some of these um, punches from these, these um, punches that actually go along with, um, look at that, I gotta cut that down. The punches that go along with this bundle the acorn and I'm just going to go punch out and I'll show you how easy it is to punch those out. So I've got some of these already cut out here so I'll use those. Now on here I'm going to actually pop this one up with dimensionals. Now this is um, just where I had used um, this bit on here is that repositional tape that I'd used on here. So when I did this, I thought, oh, that looks awfully plain. But I thought, what better way to do this? We're going to pop this up up here again with the dimensionals. And then I'm going to put these leaves on there. Yeah, a bit of overkill with the dimensionals, but what the heck, eh? Okay, so let's go and put that on here. I'm going to just put it up a little bit so it's not quite in the middle. And then I'm just going to go with my glue dots and I'm going to put some of these on with glue dots. Well, that's no good. You know what, I think I'll just use glue instead. And let's put a maple leaf in there. Where's my glue? And then we're going to just put some down here as well. These um, are so pretty. You can stamp them and also cut them out or stamp them and then punch them out. Um, but I really like the fact that I could just punch right from the paper, right? There we go, just like that. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's so pretty. Like I say, I'm not much of a fall card, um, but I definitely like this. Now, you know what I could do? They have those beautiful, um, these things here, the acorns. I could 
turn around and put those on there, which I might do for the blog post. And maybe what I could have even done was sponge around there, but I kind of like that clean look on there. But anyways, there you go. There's the sketch for this week. Remember um, to put it into um, um, onto the blog um, discussion there. And you can, um, it's card sketch number 23. I've got the right number today. Um, yeah, if I do um, anything like that and I don't have the right number, just message me with that. Um, but anyways, I'm really happy about that. So let's just bring the camera back down. And we'll go from there. Um, just a reminder, I do have the sip and stamp tonight. Um, that starts at 630. Um, and then also, um, uh, yeah, the class is on Tuesday night. And, and thanks, Marjorie. I think the class, I, I do have a link actually on my Facebook page with all the all the different things that you can do um, that are going on with the different Zoom links. Um, so that if you have any problems, just go to the Stampin' with Diane page. And from there, you can just scroll down and find out what's happening. Actually, I might just post it up at the top. But anyways, um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'm so excited to see your new cards. Anyways, bye for now.